Hi, I'm Jake. Hi, I'm Liza. And you're watching Horse Rockets. It's episode one, and we're going to answer the obvious questions. We'll take time, do what you're going to do, and just smile. So, Liza, from a kid's point of view, why did we start homeschooling? Because we moved three places, from Georgia to Utah to Germany. It would have been hard on us kids if we kept them going to different schools, meaning new, te new teachers, getting new to teachers, and meeting new friends. And that, she's absolutely right. That was a big part of it. Uh, my wife and I, Chrissy, spent a lot of the evenings discussing whether what option was the best for our family, and this is what we came up with. We've had good and bad experiences at public school, and we've had good and bad experiences homeschooling so far. So it wasn't we were running away from any sort of public school experience. It was more a matter of we were running towards something that works for our family. We don't have all the answers yet, but we want to share some of what we have learned with you guys on these videos. So one of the challenges as new homeschoolers is to figure out what curriculum is going to work for your family. It takes faith because you're making an investment in something you really haven't tried in the home. And sometimes that can be a costly adventure, starting off with one set of books and then choosing to do another. Uh, Liza, we started you off with um, a math curriculum, and then it didn't seem to be working for you. It was mostly based on the books and that sort of stuff. What did we end up doing with you? We, you guys put me on time for learning, which, by the way, helped me more. So Time for Learning is the website. It's kind of interactive, and that way, because that's something we notice too. Sometimes we're not the best teachers, you know, and sometimes the computer programs that are out there now and available are sometimes the best teachers for certain types of topics. And so for math, Time for Learning seemed to, to oh, fit for you. Yeah, um, the boys like to do Khan Academy. And some of the stuff on there, they won't do it all the time. We, we have a math book that they follow. But, you know, um, your next brother down, the, our nine-year-old boy, loves to get on Khan Academy a couple times a week and just blows through really cool topics and subjects and things. And a nine-year-old, some of the subjects in Khan Academy, they're more designed for, what, high school age, middle age, yeah. middle school age kids. And, and he's able to do them, uh, which is pretty neat to see and, and it's fun that those things are out there now. How would you feel if we didn't have those options? If there was no time for learning, what would you, how would you be doing in school right now? I would be horrible. Right. I keep on asking mom for questions and over and over and over and over and over again. All right, so biggest takeaways from homeschooling. You know what the takeaway is, right? Yep. What's a takeaway? That's like when you cast something out. No. That's throwaway. Okay, it's kind of like that, okay? No, it's kind of like the takeaway. This is what I'm taking away from the experience. Okay, now you understand. Okay. So, now let me we'll go back to that. Um, Some of the biggest takeaways from my life is that I very, most likely, I've been reading books and everything, so I barely, not used to being around people, making friends. I'm just starting to get renewed. New to that. You know, a lot of that's just settling into our new area. And in some ways, from the parents' perspective, it's kind of nice that we don't have to hear all the gossip about the boys at school or what so-and-so said or did. That's a good thing. Yeah. But a lot of it as well, though, is just the time spent with the kids. You know, that time turns into memories that they're going to have and we're going to have working with them. Uh, we've had frustrating days where there's a lot more yelling than educating going on. <laughs> And, uh, you know, we try not to have those days. We try to set each of ourselves up for success. So when I'm uh, approaching the kids and addressing the kids and talking with the kids, trying to help them set up for success. Now, I've got a full-time job, so I'm not home when most of the homeschooling's happening. Yeah. But on my days off, my wife powers down, and I have to power right back up. So I go from dealing with one group of people at work that I'm able to talk very firm to, uh, to my kids. And switching those gears has been a fun challenge at times. Uh, and a rewarding one, too. Sometimes when he's home, we actually go around Germany and see the cool places. 
I'm learning German my first school. My mom is learning. It, it was a nanny here, so she's really learning German, so it's easier for us. So homeschooling gives us a lot of freedom, and we're currently living in Germany. So a couple of weeks ago, we had the opportunity to visit the VW Phaeton factory in Dresden. And uh, that car starts at about 100,000 euros, and the factory uh, is open to the public and does tours. Um, Liza, what were some of the things you took away from that homeschooling experience? It was fun. We got to go actually see how the cart was car was built. They actually had robots there. Like, they would pick up the car. As it's with no wheels, with the doors on, they would take off the doors and put all the stuff in it. They did it by hand. They did it manually, and they, but they had some robot help to help them pick up the stuff and take it. It was kind of cool seeing it. It kept us all it kept us all the kids interested, and it was a fun experience for the adults, too. Yeah, the tour guide um, who was with us there, she compared the whole assembly line, because it's an assembly plant, um, to Legos. And so there are several times homeschooling where the Legos kind of make their way into the curriculum one way or another. And it's uh, it makes for fun memories. Well, like last week, my mom said, oh, if you don't, the boy said, you, we don't want to go to school or can we make build Legos instead? My mom said, build me a Lego town and you. That can be for your homework. So they built Target and some other stuff. Yeah, so the assignment was to build a town and tell us why each of the things that they were building in the town, why they were why Was they were important, important to it. Yeah, and it was really neat to see how they're learning about the world and the different things that need to be in there, um, you know, in order to make a town function. Uh, there was a target because we had a lot of red and white Legos, and so it worked out well for us. So one of the things we're never going to be done with is building our homeschooling network. And this really started years ago when Chrissy and I started having friends who chose to, to homeschool. And we used that network to get answers to different questions of, you know, and how to make this successful. Um, now, we're trying to transfer that network from our level down to the kids' level and give them a network of homeschooling kids as well that they can rely on. Uh, Liza's been introduced to a couple of families in the area, and it's just a matter of syncing up schedules so that can work. Uh, but everybody needs a network to be successful, and they need to be able to, to pull different ideas from other folks. you to someone that will help you with your network. Okay, we call these homeschooling highlights. Our first one comes from Victoria and Mike, parents to six children uh, who are living in a farmhouse especially built for their needs, the needs of their family. Victoria is one of those moms who will find herself recording a video or writing about her different experiences uh, with their children. She likes to craft uh, and cook in her kitchen. When asked why she homeschools, she unashamedly responds with, God placed it in our hearts to do so. Victoria says she loves being able to explore the things her kids are interested in, learning, and the freedom that comes in having a homeschooling schedule. She's written and blogged quite a bit about her family's experiences, and you can read more at afarmhousefull.com. Link below. If you would like to send us your reasons for homeschooling, use the contact link up at horserockets.com. Or you can follow us on Twitter. Are we on Twitter? I don't think so. Yeah, we're on Twitter. At Horse Rockets. Give us a shout out. Bye! There you go. Alright, dance off. We successfully finished our first episode. No pants! <laughs> Oh, in a minute to spare. A sticky summer's day in Shepherd's Town. An eagle in a thermal is a circle. And now I like a tire on a bike rolling down Columbus Street.